So when young adults who don't want children are asked why, they often give reasons like personal independence or I just don't want children, very individualistic reasons. Hmm. Yeah, individualism to me is a nice way to also frame the concept of selfishness. Um, these are people focusing on their own individual needs and desires as opposed to those of perhaps of a family. Fox News' Will Cain just demonstrated how unbelievably out of touch wealthy corporate media hosts happen to be, especially when it comes to the topic of why people decide against having children. Now, I have admitted that in some cases it could be selfish. You want the freedom, you wanna travel, you don't wanna get bogged down by the difficulty of having to raise children. But for the vast majority of Americans who choose to forego raising kids, I think the reason is pretty obvious to the rest of us and also surprisingly News Nation. It's are expensive, we've seen birth rates fall in the US since the Great Recession, but research shows that during periods of economic uncertainty, people actually, there are fewer births, birth rates tend to drop. So it's pretty sad that you have to think as a parent, can I afford to have a kid? If you don't think that you can take care of a kid that you're gonna bring into the world, that's the main reason I waited long enough. So we're gonna dig in a little deeper into that argument, which is an accurate argument. But let me also note there are other reasons why, good reasons why people in America decide maybe having kids isn't the best thing to do. I mean, we live in a country where there are endless school shootings where children are slaughtered while they're in class. And the response we get from the very same people over at Fox News who are urging people to have kids is we're not gonna do anything about it because we love our guns, second amendment, shut up. Yeah. So like, I don't know, I don't know what to tell them. Maybe consider making this country friendlier to people who are interested in having kids. Because I guarantee you, there are plenty of people who do wanna have kids, but they're terrified of the consequences, whether it's financially or otherwise, of doing so. Okay, so they say uh, these uh, people just wanna do what they wanna do and, and believe in individual freedom. Can you believe it? Wait, I thought you guys were running your whole campaigns on freedom. Like I got the freedom to not wear a mask, it's all about individual freedom. I don't wanna have a child that's going to affect my life in a gigantic way. You don't have that freedom, okay? Don't be an individual, do what we tell you. Guys, make up your mind, okay, which one is it? So my thing, my response to like, it's selfish not to have kids. So what? Yeah, okay, great, so it's selfish. Yeah, I mean- I think it's selfish to urge other people to have kids when it has no impact on your life, but it has the biggest impact on the people that you're pushing to have kids. Why, why would anyone do that, like to appease you? That's not selfish? Yeah, I gotta say two things. Look, guys, <laughs> number one, everything is selfish. This whole thing's a ruse. You think what they're doing isn't selfish? By the way, I had kids. And it was selfish. Wait, how? Well, I love those kids. I have a great time with those kids. Those kids didn't ask me to have them. I had them because I thought it was gonna be better for me because I love the idea of having kids. And Jenk is concerned about his legacy, duh, come on. <laughs> legacy, okay. So everything is selfish, it's just a question of what you want. And are we not supposed to do things that we want? Then my question is, Whose desires are we supposed to be fulfilling? Corporate America. Yours, Will <laughs> Kane, yours, Rando Lady on Fox News, the nation, the fatherland. Like, if I don't want kids, oh, well, don't be selfish. You must have the kids for who? Who? Oh, the fatherland needs kids. Corporate America needs more kids in those assembly lines. Get back, don't be selfish. Do this for multinational corporations. No, but honestly, let's take a step back for a second. The, the real concern, and they're not saying it out loud, but this is what's really going on. The birth rate is a concern for the future of our economy. And conservatives do not want migrants coming in. They want to avoid or prevent as, as much migration as possible, as much immigration as possible. And so if Americans aren't having kids, if the birth rate continues to drop, we're not gonna have enough new workers to replace retiring workers. So I get that argument, but pressuring people to have kids in an economy that is not friendly to people, working people, ain't the way to go. Yeah, but I wanna be clear too, like we get the logic of that argument, but we don't agree with it. No, uh, we don't. Right, I'm, so, yeah. so let me, like, think about that guys, they're like, 
why do you think it's an accident that all of a sudden Fox is having one segment after another? We've shown you about half a dozen already here on this show where they're like, you need to have more babies, have the babies. Okay, oh, you guys are being just outrageous by not having, get in there, go, 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 go. Right, Jesse Waters doing endless segments about now you gotta make love and you gotta get married and I don't care if you're 18 or lower, I don't care. The tire slasher wants you to make love. Right, mm -hmm. and so you gotta get in there and create more babies. Why are they saying that? Because they're talking to a largely white right wing audience on Fox News. And so Anna's right, we could have as many workers as those corporations need just like that. You just loosen immigration a tiny bit, legal immigration, right? You do it the right way. Mm -hmm. What we, what America's done for its entire history. Yep. But they don't want brown people, they want more white people. And I'm not talking about corporations. Corporations don't give a damn about their skin color. They just care about how low they pay you, right? 100%. <laughs> right? But for the right wing folks, they need more white babies. That's why they're yelling at their white audience, get in there and create more of them. So again, the best thing you can do to, you know, encourage people to have children is make the conditions, the economic conditions favorable for individuals who are considering having children. So how much does it cost to raise a kid in the United States? The numbers have been going up. So if you do not take into account the cost of education, meaning the cost of college, possibly private school, stuff like that. You just focus on the basics. The average cost of raising a kid in the United States from birth to 17 years old is a whopping $300,000. And let's break that down even more. In fact, that's what happens in this next video, let's watch. Just the estimated annual family expenses for that now second grader, they've gone up from around $12,500, which you're already thinking, uh, I'd like to pay a little bit less uh, when that person was born, up to more than $18,270 a year. So that is an increase in that little bit of time of 45 Nobody likes that. As any parent will tell you, those first years are typically the most expensive because of things like diapers and formula. That stuff you're obviously not buying at age seven, yet the cost still skyrocketing. But then you get into the everyday things, things like grocery and childcare. These things are up 25%. Okay, that is a little bit harder to deal with, all right? The average home price and health insurance, this is the big whammy, the triple whammy, if you will. Family of four, these costs are up more than 40%. Percent, forty percent. But you know that's not taken into into account during these discussions on Fox or any other show that urges people to have kids because of the low birth rate in the United States. Um, so just to like reiterate what was mentioned there, back in 2015, if you're looking at a second grader, how much it costs to take care of a second grader in 2015? It was twelve thousand five hundred dollars for one year, just one year. Fast forward to 2022 when that data came out. So 18,000, I'm sorry, $18,270 in 2022 to raise a second grader for just one year, just one year. Okay, so then we know those numbers, that sounds like a lot of money, that is a lot of money. But let's take a broader look at what the economy looks like for ordinary Americans because there's new data out using census data and here's what they found. about. 38.5% of American adults or 89.1 million people in the United States face difficulty in paying for usual home expenses between April 26th and May 8th, according to the latest Household Pulse survey. That's up from 34.4% just a year ago and 26.7% during the same period in 2021. So in other words, the financial situation on the ground for ordinary people in America has gotten a lot worse. But there's more, in 15 states, more than four in 10 adults live in households where it has been somewhat or very difficult to pay for usual household expenses in the last seven days. And in some metro areas such as Los Angeles and Riverside, California, almost half of households are struggling. And finally, what are people doing when they're struggling? Where do they go? How do they pay for their basic needs? Well, they turn to credit cards at a time when interest rates are incredibly high. More than 25 million households say they used credit cards or obtained a loan to meet spending needs. And that's up from 22.4 million a year earlier. And that is precisely why consumer debt is at record levels as we speak. 
So, Anna gave you that stat a little bit earlier, but I want to focus on it. The three hundred ten thousand dollars that kids cost these days, on average, in America for their lifetimes. Everybody got three hundred ten thousand dollars lying around. You're gonna have two kids. You got six hundred twenty thousand dollars lying around. <sighs> okay, and by the way, that's on average. If you live in the large cities like L.A., New York, etc., and you saw that in some of the numbers Anna also gave you, it's way higher. Right, so you got a you got a million dollars laying around to have a couple of kids in a in a large city in America. Well, because of how much corporate rule has sucked our wages out and brought them to a bare minimum, uh, while our productivity is still sky high, well, we don't have the money. And then Fox News comes and yells at you for being selfish. I mean, how is that for irony? Because the corporations took. All of the money and took it home. It looked, it's in, it's in my book, Justice is Coming. I explained from 1978, the Supreme Court decisions on to now, that they moved trillions of dollars that would have gone to your wages into corporate profits. And then after they took all the money, you don't have any money for kids, they go, what's the matter with you? Why didn't you get back in there and have the kids and just suffer more, okay? Because I need more workers. And you see how it's you being selfish? No, I don't see it. Of course you're going to think twice if this is how much it costs, because that could devastate you. Who the hell can afford it? That's what they should be talking about instead of yelling at their own audience. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.